So today, we're visiting Verhunga. I figured we'd take a look over at Verhunga, I haven't been here in a while, and I figured we'd hunt some gembu Gemsbuck. That is a good size 4 female. Might as well get that male too. And the female was just a gold. I did reach double lung. It'll be one more respawn for Gemsbuck. And the male is also a gold. Nice. I eventually want to get that line taking down the Cape Buffalo multi-mount. So I'm thinking I'm going to get this female line. I want to start working towards rare lions. And eventually I want to be able to take down a diamond Cape Buffalo and or a rare Cape Buffalo with a bow. So I did bring my bow with me. But, I don't have enough bow score to unlock the heavier grained arrows. So that's something I need to work towards, killing like lesser kudu and other stuff with the bow. So that'll be a plan. Uh, in the future I'll probably do uh, just like a white tail grind just with the bow, just to mix up how I'm getting kills and stuff, and that'll be fun. Yep, just common female. But, I do want you to respawn as a rare, so I'd appreciate that if you did. Those are all... Level fours, but they're all males. Oh, there's a female. Kind of unfortunate that all of the males are good size, and that one's fleeing. And we can get this guy before he goes alert and starts fleeing. <laughs> and just a silver, to be expected. Males are harder to get higher scores uh, for Gemsbuck, anyways. Looks like we got that guy. It's unfortunate that I'm not really finding level 4 Gemsbuck females because those are what have the better chance of being diamond for Gemsbuck. And me shooting all these level 4 males, I'm, I mean, I'm technically working towards a respawns for a diamond male, but getting a diamond male Gemsbuck is considered really rare. And he was just a silver male at level 4. There's a level 4 female. Now that's got a chance of making diamond. Nailed her. Eh, didn't make diamond. It'll be a good respawn. So there aren't that many good sides. So I'm just take out two. And looks like we got them both. And this one was a gold female. And this one was just a silver. Also gray. So it's currently Gemsbuck feed time. And I am down here at this outpost on the bottom right side of the map in Verhunga. And holy cow do Gemsbuck feed here. This has got to be the best spot to go for Gemsbuck feed zone. I got, I got a herd over here, and I got a herd over here. And it look, this level 4 female Gemsbuck is a really good size. So I'm for sure going to try to get that. And then hopefully, I think it's far enough away from them or that they won't hear it. But that's my target right there. Now this is a 400 meter shot, and she just laid down. It looks like I dropped her, and it didn't spook this other herd of Gemsbuck, so that is good. I'm going to try to take out the biggest female, which looks like it's only a level 3. I'm going to guess I'm going to take that one out because it's the closest one. And pretty sure we nailed her. Yep, got her. Uh, there is a random Gemsbuck just chilling there. So it looks like we're going to take him out too. Looks like we nailed him. This spot is super good to go to. Because so many Gemsbuck and Blue Wildebeest feed over here in this area. And they're pretty much far away enough from each other. They're spread out all the way across this whole area, where you can pretty much take shots at them all. And as long as you hit them from that far away, because generally you're about 350 away from them, but as long as you hit them, you can take out plenty of Gemsbuck and be able to get, get them all pretty easily. And this guy was gold. Nice. And she was a gold, but dang. Pretty close to diamond, 334.8 out of 337, only 3 off diamond. 
That is why you kill the level 4 females. Hopefully she respawns as a diamond. And this female was a grey, but she was level 3. So right up there on my marker is some lesser kudu. Now I want to be able to sneak in and get the level 3 that's there with my bow. And it's a good change of pace. So I'm going to try to get into this bush here on my right. And then I'm going to call in the lesser kudu. And the wind is pretty good to be able to get them. So we'll see what happens. There's level 2, there's level 3. Now he was only a silver. And that may have been slightly excessive for a silver. But I need the kills with the bow. So it's good practice. And I got the long shot. I was a little left, but I was able to still get the lever. So that is a good size blue willed the beast. Now, he's also level 4, but he, that guy weighs more than those other two level 4s. So this blue willed the beast, I'm going to give my best attempt of sneaking in to about 60 meters and putting a bow shot into his lung. Just kidding, they're alert traveling. So I'm going to take it out. And it was a good size gold. 37.4, holy, he was 0.2 from diamond. See, I knew his weight, he was bigger than the other fours. But that's a good respawn, hopefully he can respawn as a diamond. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.